Hello everyone, today my story is called Miss Mingo Weathers the Storm by Jamie Harper. Early one April morning, Miss Mingo and her students gathered at the base of High Hill. They couldn't wait to hike to the top to visit the weather observatory. I see you all brought your hiking gear, said Miss Mingo. Sensational class! As always, Alligator interrupted. My mommy came to help, she said. Do you like our matching outfits? I'm here to help too, said Cricket's dad. We're nuts for nature, aren't we, Muffin? I'd also like to welcome our new student, Groundhog, said Mrs. Mingo. Wow, Frog said. I heard that groundhogs are experts at predicting weather. So Groundhog, what kind of weather will we have today? Today? Weather? Oh, perfect. It will be perfect. The trail got steep in a hurry. Do we have time to walk far? asked Pig. When's lunch? Hippo wanted to know. It's getting so hot, said Alligator, huffing and panting. Frog studied the sky. Did you know that the sky isn't blue on other planets? It's pink on Mars, yellow on Venus, and black on the moon. When they stopped to rest, Cricket's father entertained the class with the sweet sound of his chirping. The hotter it is, the faster he plays, said Cricket. Who knew, said Frog. Meanwhile, Panda found a shady spot to cool down. Hippo needed a rest too. He was sweating buckets. Miss Mingo, yelled Alligator. Hippo's run all over. Get some bandages, quick. Oh dear, Miss Ming, said Miss Mingo. Don't worry, said Hippo. It's not blood. It's actually good for my body. Still, Pelican insisted on cooling him down. Shh. Are we there yet? asked Pig. Smell those flowers, Miss Mingo said. Snake slid through the bloom, sniffing of his tongue. He wondered why their petals were closing. Alligator was too busy tugging at her clothes to notice the flowers. I'm so sticky, she cried. Could be worse, Miss Alligator whispered to her daughter. Take a look at Monkey. What? said Monkey. You've never had a bad hair day? Frog noticed the increase in humidity too. Groundhog, he said. Do you think it's going to rain? It might, but it might not. Well, maybe a little, answered Groundhog. Frog studied the dark clouds hanging overhead. Hey, look, hollered Ant. That's my auntie's house over there. He called her name several times, but no one answered. Her hill was very high, and the door at the top was closed. Hmm, Ant said, I think it's going to rain. At that moment, something fell from above. Hey, who's throwing the marbles, said Cockroach. They're not marbles, Ant said. They're hailstones. Take cover, cried Alligator. Miss Mingo called Roll to make sure the students were all accounted for, but some of the smallest students didn't answer. Frog, ant, cricket, cockroach, spider, she called. Then Miss Mingo spotted them. As always, Miss Mingo knew just what to do. As soon as the hall stopped, rain poured down, so the group found a dry spot for lunch. Didn't someone say it was going to be perfect weather, said Alligator. Groundhog kept eating. Narwhal stopped eating his peanut butter and sardine sandwich and lifted his tusk high up in the air. I think we should get going, he said. I'm sensing cooler temperatures. Wait, said Centipede. I'll get a gazillion blisters if I keep hiking in these wet socks. But changing into dry socks wasn't easy, even with a lot of help. Narwhal was right. 
Chilly air crept in and covered the hikers in an icy blanket. Groundhog! yelled Alligator. This is not perfect weather. Everyone was tired, but Bird inspired them to keep going. Louder, class! Miss Mingo cheered. Sing louder! Are we there yet? asked Pig. It's getting foggy, said Narwhal. Well, actually, said Frog, that's frozen fog. The class couldn't see a thing, but Groundhog found the nearest tree and crawled up to the highest branch. Miss Mingo, he called. It's this way. Follow me, everyone. I see a rainbow. No, two rainbows. Groundhog climbed down and led the way to the observatory. Ranger Russ was surprised to see them. I'm so happy you made it, he said. We're having crazy weather today. I'll say, answered Miss Mingo. Her students talked nonstop about all the different weather they faced during the hike. We learned a ton, said Elephant. I suppose it's time to climb to the tippity top of the hill, said Ranger Russ. The view was simply spectacular. There's my house, shouted Giraffe. And our school, said Hippo. I see the dump, said Cockroach. Miss Mingo was smiling at her students when something landed on her beak. Is that a snowflake? She said. Hey, Groundhog, said Alligator. You can predict the weather. It's perfect. Pig was busy catching snowflakes when she noticed that the trail was disappearing. Do we have to hike all the way back in the snow, she cried. Follow me, Miss Mingo said. I know a faster way. And they sled down the hill. The end.